Okay, so this is podcast number four, or video cast number four, and this is the heap that is the ever-growing heap in the front of my garden. And all I can say to this is, oh my god, my poor lawn. Anyway, moving on. We've had some some changes, as you expect after a week. The uh, wood pile here has got a lot smaller, which is always a good sign. And coming through here, we have jib, half a load of jib, also good, and insulation. So let's have a look. We have the wiring done and insulation going in behind the TV, which is good because it means the next bedroom is going to be a lot um uh, you won't hear the tally as much through the, through the wall, which is good for guests that come and stay. We've got jib up on the ceiling and up on the walls. Here's the placement for the lights. We got light fittings to this week, which was fun dealing with the lighting store, who believe customer service is negligible um, and not really required when selling product. That's beside the point. So this is the jibbed wall looking very nice and clean. And this also is finishing off the jib here. So that's the dining room. Just maneuvering my way through. A couple of things to point out from here is that the wall is a lot thicker. As you can see, I've got my hand up so you can see how thick it is. There. Right, and the interesting thing is, is that because it was such a wobbly wall and went in and out like an S, they had to pack it out to get it straight. We wanted this particular wall straight. The other walls we didn't mind so much, but this one we wanted nice and straight because you'd see it both sides and it makes visually, visually better. The difficult part is when you come to the door, and I'll turn around a bit so you can see, is that this bit is... Um, wider than the actual door frame so he'll need to pack out the door and give us a new door which he told about told us about on friday okay and the kitchen still needs work but he's done quite a bit of jibbing here leaving the kitchen wiring's all in got wires everywhere so we've got power points coming out the wazoo which is great wahoo no more power boards for us and plumber still has to come in to finish off the work, but that's pretty much all go too. So it is looking really good. Next thing to do is the flooring. We've almost got the price back for the wooden flooring, and um, it's going to be expensive, but I think we're going to need it. He's also going to have to do something about this, all this stuff, and I think he's going to actually um, end up having to lay some some bit of self-made concrete in um, to flatten up the floor. But it's all going apace. You can see the television wiring systems in as well. All the wires are in, in the walls. Speaker systems, surround sound system speakers are all sorted. So it's all happening there. Right, then we'll go through here. Still a bit of a mess. Oh, I can smell drains. I wonder what's happening in the bathroom. So, nothing really. I've put some, started no more battening than last week, as you can see, it's a bit dark in here today. And they haven't removed the gas pipes either, but the plumber's supposed to be in next week. Hopefully that will be the case, but the wiring is in. And then through to the bathroom. And again, mostly what's happened here is the wiring. Uh, nothing in the roof yet. Again, the battening's pretty minimal. But what we have got is we still need the plumber to come in and fix that mains. There's something not quite right with that mains pipe. He reckons it's going to burst at some point because there's corrosion. So he's replacing that. Plumber's coming in next week, hopefully. Everything, everything in the bathroom is pretty much the same as per normal. And that is that.